Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss learning vector quantization with the help of a solved example. This is the solved example number two. Link for other example is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a learning vector quantization net with the two input units and four target classes that is C1, C2, C3, and C4. X1 and X2 are the input units here. For example, if the value of X1 is 0.2, and uh, x2 is 0.2, the data point belongs to c1 here. Let us assume that x1 is equal to 0.4 and x2 is equal to 0.6, the data point belongs to c2 here. So, that is what the meaning of a given data set here. We need to use the square of Euclidean distance to calculate the distance of uh, input pair to each of the classes. Based on the distance, we need to assign the input pair to one of the classes here. So, there are two input vectors are given to us. Uh, both of them belongs to class 1. With the help of uh, learning rate uh, 0.25, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance and then uh, based on the Euclidean distance, we need to assign these data points which actually belongs to class 1 to one of these particular classes here. This is how the learning vector quantization net looks like. There are two input units are there that is U1 and U2. There are four uh, classes are there, C1, C2, C3 and C4. The weights uh, towards C1 is W11, W21. Weights uh, towards uh, C2 are W12 and W22 and so on. Now, uh, given this net, uh, we need to uh, classify the two input pairs into one of the classes here. Before we go to that particular thing, first we will write the initial weight vector. Uh, with respect to class 1, the initial weight vector looks something like this. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to write this one. So, W1 is equal to uh, this particular class 1 uh, is present over here. Uh, the values are 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 here. So, that is what I have written 0 0.2, 0 0.2, it belongs to C1. So, second C1 is present here, that is nothing but 0 0.2 and 0 0.6, that is what I have written here. This is the one more C1, that is uh, uh, 0.6 and 0 0.8. The next C1 is present here, that is 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, that is what I have written here. Similarly, for class 2, you can notice here class 2 is present here. This is nothing but 0 0.4, 0 0.2. This uh, C2 is present here, that is nothing but 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So, the same thing I have written here. Uh, this uh, C2 is present here, that is nothing but 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. Another C2 is present here, that is 0 0.8 and 0 0.4 here. Similarly, we have to write the weight vectors for the remaining uh, classes, that is uh, class 3 and class 4 here. Now, this is the first input vector given to us, uh, that is uh, u1, u2 is equal to 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 and the learning rate is given to us as 0 0.25 and this input vector belongs to what class? That is uh, T1 here. Now, given this uh, uh, input vector, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance to each of the classes. So, you can calculate the Euclidean distance with the help of uh, this formula, that is dj is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 2. I have taken 2 here because the input vector contains uh, the 2 units here. That's the reason I have taken 2. That is u1 and u2. Uh, Wij minus xi bracket square here. Uh, j is nothing but what? Uh, the class to which we are calculating the distance here. So, uh, we will expand this equation uh, for uh, all possible values of i here. So, dj is equal to w1j minus x1 bracket square plus w2j minus x2 bracket square here because I can take all the values from 1 to 2 in this case. Now, we want to calculate the distance of this input vector to uh, C1 here. Uh, that can be done with the help of this formula, that is D1. So, J is replaced with what? D1 uh, one here. So, this will become W11. W11 is how much? 0.2, that is what I have written here, minus X1. Uh, X1 is how much? This is 0.25. Plus W21, W21 is how much? 0.2 again x2 is 0 0.25, once you solve it, you will get 0 0.005 here. Similarly, we will calculate uh, d2. Uh, here, j is replaced with uh, 2 here. Uh, it will become w12. w12 is nothing but 0 0.2. Again, input is 0 0.25. And uh, the next weight is 0 0.6. The input is same here. Once you solve it, you will get 0 0.125. Similarly, we have to calculate d3 uh, and d4. d3 is equal to 0 0.425 and D4 is equal to 0.145 here. Now, among these distances, uh, D1 is the minimum. Hence, uh, the C1 is the winner in this case and the input vector is assigned to whom? Input vector is assigned to class C1 in this case. And actually, it belongs to 
uh, class 1 and we have classified this example into C1 here. Now, what we need to do is we need to update the weights with respect to C1 uh, class here. That is nothing but this column. We need to update these two weights here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to update the weights. If you want to update the weights, we need to take this equation. That is Wij nu is equal to Wij old plus alpha Xi minus Wij old here. What is the J value? J value is 1 because we have assigned the input vector to class 1 here. Now, we will replace that uh, J is equal to 1. It will look uh, something like this. Next, uh, the value of I can be uh, 1 or 2 here. So, initially the value of I is equal to 1 because I want to update this value W11. Next time I want to update this one that is W12. So, I will become what? 2 in that case. So, J is equal to 1, I is equal to 1 in the first iteration. The equation will look something like this. We need to put all the values which are already known to us. W11 old is 0.2 and uh, alpha is known to us that is 0.25. X1 is 0.25. W11 old is 0.2 here. Once you solve it, you will get 0.2125 here. Similarly, we need to calculate W21 uh, new here. That is equal to 0.2125 here. Now, uh, both the weights we have calculated. So, the old weights are replaced with uh, the new weights in this case. And after updating, uh, the weight vector will look something like this. These are the updated weights in this case. Now, we will consider the second input that is uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.35. Again, it belongs to class uh, 1 here and the alpha is equal to 0 0.25. First, we need to calculate the square of Euclidean distance. Again, we are using the same uh, distance uh, formula here. Uh, dj is equal to w. Uh, 1j minus x1 bracket square w2j minus x2 bracket square. So, j will be 1 in the first iteration. We will put that and then we will put the values here. You will get 0 0.0625 as the distance here. Similarly, we will calculate d2 that is equal to 0 0.1025, d3 is equal to 0 0.2425, d4 is equal to 0 0.0425 in this case. Now, if you compare all these distances, d4 is minimum here. The meaning is the input vector is assigned to uh, class 4 here. Uh, because of that, j will become how much? j will be equal to 4 in this case. Actually, the input vector belongs to class 1, but it is assigned to class 4 in this case. Because we have assigned it to class 4, we need to update uh, this particular weight column, that is the fourth one, w14 and w24 uh, in this case. So, what we do? We use this equation again, wij new is equal to wij old minus alpha xi minus wij old here. J is replaced with 4 because uh, we want to update these particular weights uh, they are with respect to class C4 here. Again, the value of I can be 1 or 2 here. So, initially we will take 1. The equation will look uh, something like this. We will put all the values. Once you put all the values, you will get W14 is equal to 0.65 here. Next, we will replace uh, I with uh, 2 here. This is how the equation look like. Once you put all the values, you will get 0 0.4125 here. So, these are the updated weights. So, the old weights are uh, replaced with the new weights in this case. After replacing, they will look something like this here. I hope uh, the concept of uh, learning vector quantization is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.